Ricky Hitman Hater. Best fighter in the world, Manny Pac-Man Trunks are okay here. Trunks are okay here. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch up. Who wants to apply pressure, but with care. Yes, with care. Against Pacquiao's faster yes. hands. Yes. And I think he's doing just that. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Trying to hit Hatton as he comes in. Key element of the game plan for Pacquiao. Allow Hatton to come forward, catch him on the way in. A key element of the game plan for Hatton, get Pacquiao against the ropes, just like that. Pacquiao has been more successful with the right than the left. That, that, that punch missed. There's the right again landing. Quick right hooks are landing for Pacquiao. The left hand is overshooting the target. This fight is punch puncher. Well, follows the jab with a hook, comes back with another jab. There's the straight left hand, and he landed it right on Hatton's chin. And down goes Hatton after he swings and misses with a left hook. And that's a knockdown for Manny Pacquiao. Perfect right hand inside. I don't know if Vicky's going to survive. I'm surprised to see him get hurt for Shelly. But you know, he's not the type of a guy that goes out and survive. He's a fighter. Hatton got a couple of extra seconds as Bayless tried to back Pacquiao off. Pacquiao was coming out of the neutral corner in a hurry. Lands another right hook. Pacquiao's hands are so back. Pacquiao's hands are blindingly fast. His hands are so fast that no opponent sees the punches coming. A very another perfect right hand for Pacquiao. Another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at will. Hard left hand. Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's down for the second time. This is the brilliance of the Filipino slugger. A tsunami for Manny Pacquiao in round one. You should have been listening to me from day one. Here's the first knockdown, Emmanuel. Right, right hook as he was coming, he never saw it. And what's amazing to see him land a punch and then slip a punch all at the same time shows unbelievable coordination. The issue has always been timing. whether Hatton could get to Pacquiao and avoid these kinds of clean punches. Box numbers in round one, utterly devastating to Pacquiao's chances. Pacquiao is 35 out of 62, 31 out of 52 power shots. Hatton only 8 out of 33. It was a Pacquiao storm in the first round. This, and we have to remember now, although it's a different type of fight, that Pacquiao knocked Marquez down three times in the first round. And then Marquez, a counterpuncher, began to solve him. Hatton is not a counterpuncher. Hard left hand by Hatton. Ricky has decided to fight fire with fire. And it's what he's going to have to do in this case, sure, if he just to try to smother this guy and get close. Trying to punch at a certain distance. Well, Pacquiao is actually no, just too sharp and accurate to punch him. You heard Floyd Mayweather saying to Hatton, you can't just jump all over him. You've got to move your head. You've got to think. You've got to do the things we talked about in training camp. Hatton seemed to believe that he could physically overpower Pacquiao from the beginning. Yeah, I mean, well, it, it, he knew in the beginning he was going to take the risk of getting caught, and he did. Because, you know, he, coming in, Pacquiao still is the puncher. The physical strength is still with Hatton, but the, the, the punch is still Pacquiao. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Stunned Hatton and knocked him back. Look at the brilliant accuracy of Manny Pacquiao. Landing with both right and left hands. Misses the right hook there. And what Ricky needs to do is to smother him. He cannot see the deal with those punches. He needs to push him. Just what he's doing there. Good left hook inside by Hatton. And then he closed down Pacquiao's left side. Hard right hand again by Pacquiao. Ricky can't see the hook coming. Got behind the head. All right, okay. Kenny Bayless warns Hatton for holding behind the head. Most famous victory over Costa Zoo. 
He just smothered him and didn't allow him to get off. He can't seem to be able to get close enough to Pacquiao often enough to do that. And Pacquiao's hands are so quick. That's the point. Costa Zoo had about a quarter of the speed of Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's, Pacquiao's blinding speed that sets him apart. As well as his head movement. His head movement is a phenomenal. I don't think he's landed too much in that of an exchange, but it's just his, his ability to punch, maintain balance, which he used to can do. And his head, head movement is just too difficult for Hatton to time. I think Pacquiao may have spent the first two minutes of this round thinking knockout and allowed himself to get a little wild. Now he goes back to more precision. Yep. Lands a hard body shot. But Ricky isn't moving his head too much still. His head is still right there. That is. Oh, oh my gosh, what a straight left hand. And will Hatton make it up from this? Can he beat the count? Is that it? And Kenny Bellas says, no way. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the most spectacular one punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. In a fighter. And I'm not sure if they're doing the right thing by moving Hatton around. I'm not a medical guy, but he's in very bad straight bad stitching. Shape. Once Pacquiao stopped thinking knockout and went back to boxing, yes. then he got the knockout. He timed him just right. Timed with a perfect left hand shot at his coming in. Landing 34 of his last 53 power shots, 64%. And you know, Jim, the interesting thing is, before this fight tonight, he had shown this kind of power against the best featherweights, Barrera, Morales. <clears throat> and Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is a perfect time. That was this. super slow yeah. motion. Yeah, and he never saw a time him coming in. Yeah. It's the first time he's knocked out somebody like this since he was at 130 pounds. And Hatton's head hit the canvas very hard. He was knocked out as soon as Double the Double jeopardy. He was unconscious from the moment he caught that shot. Goes to the canvas in the proverbial heap. And boom. Out of our camera range at that angle, the head pounded against the canvas. Here's another look. So Floyd Mayweather made his statement on a podium this morning, saying, I'm back and I'm still the best. Manny Pacquiao makes his statement right here in the ring. He knocking out Ricky. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, the end comes at 2 minutes, 59 seconds, round number two. The winner by TKO victory. And now, the new IBO and Ring Magazine, late welterweight. Champion of the world and still pound for pound the best in the world, Manny.